Hey everyone, this is StarCraft Dad, and welcome once again to Star Class. Today we'll be doing a replay review, uh, reviewing a replay sent to me by Commander Talon here in the blue. He has just started Season 3, and this is his qualifying game, and he emailed me his replay asking for a couple of pointers, and I said, well, how about we just go ahead and do a cast with that, and we can share uh, those results with uh, the other readers. And it's more fun, I think, to watch a cast with uh, some commentary rather than just reading an email with some bullet points. So I've already watched this replay. I know how it's going to end up. Uh, but in all honesty, how a game ends um, is not all that important for uh, reviewing a replay of your own game and trying to find out ways that you can improve. So um, first off, uh, let me say that I, I had no idea whether Commander Talon came into this game with a particular build in mind. Um, but since I know the outcome of the game, let's just go ahead and assume that what he ended up building was his plan. Uh, when the loading screen was coming up and he saw what map he was playing on and what race he was playing against, he said, this is the build I'm going to do. So he's going to, his plan is to build two barracks, build a factory, build two starports with tech labs, and build four banshees and send those banshees to his opponent's base. And so because of that, he's going to want some secrecy. He doesn't want a scout to come into the base and see that he's building these banshees, that he's rushing for banshees. Um, and he's going to want to build those banshees as quickly as possible and research that cloak ability as quickly as possible. So here we can see he's um, doing a couple things. He's going ahead and starting his gas, which is good. Um, and he's walling off his base, which is good as well. Now one slight improvement that we could make here is he could go ahead and rather than walling off with two supply depots and a barracks, since he's going to build two barracks to defend with, he could go ahead and um, wall off with his second barracks. So this is a point in the game where you know he's got a supply depot, he's got 70 minerals, you know he could go ahead and start going down that path of building buildings. And he actually wouldn't even be supply capped. If you look here he has a supply cap of 27 and 13 supplies. So if he didn't have uh, this building, his, his supply cap would be 17. So he's, he would still have some space to build some units here. Um, Marines or SCVs, and you can see he started a Marine here. So that's maybe the first step. Let's put another barracks there, and we'll see how long. Let's look at this uh, time clock here. He's at 2 minutes and 36 seconds, and he would have had to save up a, a few more minerals before he could start this barracks. But uh, you know, let's see when his second barracks gets finished. So he's sending this SCV back up to here, and he's going to wait a little bit and send him somewhere else. And so you can see here he's building up minerals. So again, I don't know if this was his original plan to go for uh, banshees, but um, you know, you can see there's a, a li little bit of um, of optimizing we could do here. And if he wasn't doing that plan originally, he can look at this replay pick up some of these pointers and <laughs> execute this plan very efficiently the next time. So one of the big things to be looking out for is ways that your buildings are not being utilized to their full extent. So these two barracks, we're going to be watching these two barracks to make sure that they're building marines at a pretty constant rate and also very importantly that this command center is building SCVs at a constant rate. So you know keeping an eye up on this mineral count as soon as you have minerals to build something to go ahead and build it. Now, of course, we don't want to do that at the expense of delaying a building. That's very important. Um, as you saw right here, he went ahead and decided to upgrade this orbital command. Now, he's pretty close to the 100 gas that he would need for a factory. So had he not done that, he could have um, built a factory right there. And let's look right here. He needs 150 minerals and 100 gas to build that factory. He's got 135 and it looks like he's not building a marine there. So he could have cut this marine and started, build it, started building that factory sooner. He's up to 4 minutes and 24 seconds now. So he's, he's at a pretty good clip. Um, but you can see there's just a little slight bit of improvement that he could eke out there. Now he's going to need a lot of gas because he's going to be building a factory and two start ports and banshees out of those right away and tech labs. All those things require uh, gas, so he's going to need a lot of gas, but he's um, okay. So here comes this SCV. He's probably going to be building a factory. Boom! There you go. 
Okay, so now he's building his factory, and it is almost five minutes. So building a factory, um, at this point, is it worth it for him to start building a tech lab? Uh, you know, it's going to take some time for the two um, starports to be built. I think it takes about a minute. So he's got some time before that happens. So he could still continue to be building SCVs and building marines out of here, unless he's going to use this tech lab for um, one of the starports. He doesn't really need it. Um, un unless he's going to be building marauders or if he's going to be researching some tech. But of course, either of those use gas, and that's something that's going he's going to need for those banshees. So you can see here he got supply blocked at 27. So although earlier he could have waited on getting that supply depot, um, he definitely needs, now that he's got a lot of buildings, building things, he's got these two barracks, and he's got his orbital command building things. He does need to keep up with that uh, building supply depots. But you can see here, because he's supply blocked, now that, that, was, an, that was an interesting choice. As soon as he got supply blocked, we're going to rewind just a little bit here and see, okay, just a little bit further. Okay, so right now he's not supply blocked. He has 26 supply with a cap of 27. And he's building this marine. So he can build one more thing before he's going to be blocked. His factory is almost done. He has 100 minerals. And let's, uh, let's slow this down just a wee bit. Okay, so he's going to be building something probably pretty soon. And then he will be blocked. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so we can see here that he's building two SCVs. Now, as soon as this factory finishes, he's got plenty of gas. He's going to want to start building the starports, and he's already got this tech lab started. So remember what I said earlier about the um, the tech lab only being needed when the starports are finished. So one thing that he could do here to slightly improve this a little bit is to oh and see. Looky here. So he's got two marines queued up. So if he cuts a marine, that's 50. He cuts the tech lab. I think tech labs are 50, aren't they? Yeah, tech labs are 50. So if he cuts a marine and he cuts the tech lab, he'd have 185 minerals and 200 gas. So he could be just about ready for sure to start that starport as soon as this um, factory is done. So, I mean, that, that's kind of one of the things you could be looking for as you look through your replays. You know, first you need to have a goal in mind, and then you can start looking at your buildings and your, um, your units to see where you can cut just a little bit more time out. And uh, he's doing pretty good, though. I mean, look at this. We're at the five-minute mark. Um, you know, the uh, medium computer AI at five minutes will be sending, what, three Marines and two Marauders at this point? So, um, or coming up pretty soon. So, you know, he, he's doing pretty good, but you can see he could be getting things out just a wee bit faster. So let's watch and see if he's got, okay, so right now he's got a tech lab ready to go. As soon as this factory is done, he could turn around and start building a starport. And even now, even though he's building Okay, now here's here's an important. This was kind of the point I meant to go back to. So right when he finds out that he's supply blocked, that means that he can't build any units, any more units that he's got running like this STV. So he's got kind of two options. One is he can start doing tech. He can start researching tech, and you can see this marine is blocked. So if we go ahead and cancel this guy because he won't be able to be built for another. Um, uh, I can't remember how long these take to build. Let's take a look. A supply depots take 30 seconds. So he's not going to be able to build this marine for 30 seconds. So he might as well cancel him. That gives him 130 minerals. So he could start building this starport down here pretty quickly. If he cancels that marine right now, he could build the starport and get started on that. Or he could go ahead and put down a tech lab. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So now, once again, he's almost up to 150. So right here, he could go ahead and start building the starport. So, and you'll see pretty shortly now, he's going to actually start two starports all at once. So, now the reason why that's important is that the Banshees take some time to build. Uh, they take like, what, like a minute maybe to build? And so, bringing 
building these starports faster is better. And you can see, even before the starports went down, he had the tech labs ready to go. Two tech labs, one free starport. Now, even then, if he would have waited and not built the tech labs, he could have started the starport sooner and built the tech labs while the starports were building. And you can see he's doing that already with this factory. So that's a little bit more that he could eke out. Now that his supply block has been, he's really not supply blocked at all. Um, he needs to be making sure that he's building things. So these career building marines, that's great. And uh, these starports are almost done. And he does need to be careful about spending too many minerals or too much gas because as soon as these start ports are done he's done all this work to make sure that these tech labs are ready to go right away so these star ports so he's lifting that one over while that one's on its way he could go over and lift up this factory doesn't necessarily need to do these one at a time got a couple of SCVs hanging around so there's always some little things you can tweak up here if you look here his he's got 50 energy on his orbital there goes down the mule so, you know, keeping that fresh. Now, here's an interesting choice. He's building an engineering bay, but, you know, there's this emphasis on these starports. And if you just pause for just a second, so each banshee costs 150 minerals and 100 gas. So he's just, this starport has just landed. He's almost away from being able to build two banshees, one out of each. If he would have waited on this engineering bay, he would have enough to go ahead and start building those banshees right away. The other thing that he wants to do is start researching cloak, which takes 200 minerals and 200 gas. That's a lot. That's a lot. So each banshee is going to be 100. That is 200. That leaves 236. So he could start doing cloak right away. Now cloak is going to take a long time to research. 110 seconds. So that's almost two minutes. But in two minutes... Each Banshee is 60 seconds to build. So if he starts Cloak right now, or around now, by the time it's done, he'll have his four Banshees, which will be in um, two minutes, which will be at around the 10 minute mark. So he's making four Banshees by 10 minutes, which is, which, which is good. But I think you can see here, just by making a few changes, he can get to that point um, much sooner. Let's always continue to build SCVs. So you can see he's actually doing a pretty good job versus his opponent, even if we look as a, at his opponent. He's up on supply. He's got a higher supply, which is great. Um, Zerg in general need to be ahead on supply on Terran. And, uh, and you can see he's continuing to build these supply depots, which is good, because these Banshees each take three supply apiece. So he needs to keep up with that. Doesn't need to make this one. Are, they, are we keeping busy over here? We are. So. I mean, that, there's an interesting point. He could have waited on this supply depot and started Cloak. But in this case, Cloak isn't going to quite get started yet. Which, in some ways, is fine. Um, he needs Cloak to be ready when the Banshees attack. And there you can see him starting. They don't, need, they don't need Cloak when they leave the base. They need Cloak exactly when they attack. So if there's something else that he can use those minerals for or that gas for, then he can wait, wait on getting Cloak. But uh, as we mentioned earlier, though, um, if he would have hit Cloak a little bit sooner, it would be done right as he finishes four. Oh, hold on, I need to get my dog. <laughs>